We pause now in midday. How have you lived in the teaching of Jesus? How is it echoing through your day? Let's allow the hurry, anxiety, and distractions of the day to settle now as we let go and entrust it all to the one who is with us and loves us more than we can possibly understand. Take a deep breath. Remember what Paul says, in God we live and move and have our being. Take another deep breath. These next moments of silence are yours to rest in the presence of the Lord. Now I invite you to join me in this prayer based on the Beatitudes. God of the prophets, God of Christ, we are reminded today that your blessings do not necessarily follow the logic of the world. The world believes that the rich are blessed, but Jesus reminds us that it is the poor who are blessed, the poor in spirit, and the materially poor as well. We pray for a more just world in which we all have enough and none are left behind. Though we fear death and avoid its inevitable arrival, Jesus tells us that those who mourn are blessed. Help us to experience the truth of this mystery. Bring healing and wholeness to those who are sick and comfort those of us who have lost loved ones. While people covet power, Jesus blesses the meek. Instruct us, O God, in the ways of humility. Help us to stand in solidarity with the oppressed and marginalized. Show us your presence in the faces of those the world forgets. Give us a hunger and thirst for righteousness. Fill our hearts with love, overflowing with mercy. Make our hearts pure and give us a vision of your glory. In a society divided by race, gender, class, ideology, and so many other labels we alone have created, remind us that we are created in your image, each of us a beautiful reflection of you, each of us your beloved child. Help us then to end our conflicts and wars. Help us to be peacemakers and agents of reconciliation. Gracious God, You have so richly blessed us with life, with love and joy, with hope in the midst of despair. Help us to be the salt of the earth. Help us to be the light of the world, sharing with others that which we have received, boldly proclaiming the good news of your love, finding the seeds of your kingdom within us, and letting your ways grow in our lives and throughout the world. Amen.